Growing up in Pine Creek, Texas, I learned some values just like those of you that grew up in small towns in Iowa, that hard work and faith and family were really important. Serving your community, serving your state, serving your country. I'll never be able to give back to this country what it's given to me. And part of that was my attempt to do that was serving the United States Air Force. It's some of the days that I'm most proud of. But my purpose in life has never been to be the President of the United States. My purpose in life has been to serve my country. And um, we got a lot of heroes, young men and women that we have watched from afar, sometimes up close and personal, sometimes it was your friends and family. And I've got the privilege today to be traveling with one of those uh, um, young men who uh, is a hero, uh, farmer marine captain, and uh, fighting Texas Aggie. That's how I got to know him, is through uh, our Texas Aggie connections. And um, he knows the cost of war. He's seen it firsthand. But he also knows what an exceptional country this is. Now I'm going to let him share with you a little bit of his story. Um, his vehicle was hit by an IED in, in Iraq, and he lost three of his fellow Marines of the five. Three died that was in that vehicle with him. But he is a great American, great Texan, but more importantly, a patriot who loves his country, Captain Dan Moran. Dan, come up a second. Appreciate you, brother. God bless you. Thank you very much, Governor. I really appreciate it. And uh, just like the Governor, the only way I know how to speak is from my heart. That's, that's the only way that Americans truly know how to speak, is from the heart. I, um, I was burned 50% third degree on my body. And just like the Governor said, I was in service in the Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not enough. That's not enough because I've served with men and women who've paid the ultimate sacrifice. I'm here today simply to tell you why I'm supporting Governor Rick Perry for President of the United States. Coming back and seeing the state of our country, seeing where things are, I'm tired of people telling us that this country is not exceptional. I'm tired of it. Because in the field of combat, being a small business owner, I see exceptionalism every day. I see it every day. When did we stop being told that we weren't exceptional? When, when did people start telling us that we were just like everybody else. We're not. That flag right there means something. Our values, they're not just words. We live them every day. There's no doubt in my mind that Rick Perry will be the best commander in chief. This, there's no doubt in my mind. Let me tell you why. Because he understands that for American prosperity, peace, our principles, and our national power, and our vital national interests, I know that having a younger brother still active duty in the Marine Corps, that when Rick Perry's in the Oval Office, he will expend every use every instrument of national power, and he understands the, the, the cost and the value of our men and women, our fellow countrymen. There's no doubt in my mind that he can get America working again. I started my own business when I came back, a si simple idea. I want to create jobs for veterans. 
It was because of the, econ the conditions that he set in the state of Texas that I was able to go with that vision and to be able to have a thriving business. You see, because he trusts the American people. He trusts them. And the bottom line is, is that I know with every fiber of my being, I wouldn't be here just like Governor Perry, who speak the truth. I wouldn't be here if I did not believe that he is the best person to be president of the United States. I wouldn't be here. And I am because I have three kids as well. And I want them to go grow up in a country that embodies everything that we stand for. And so I ask you today, for your continued support, get the word out, because there's no doubt in my mind that our values, jobs, freedom, it's not just a slogan. It's the American way of life. And I'll be here, even though, you know, can't regulate my body temperature that much anymore if I got to go and knock on every door in the entire union to tell my fellow Americans how important it is that we elect Rick Perry to the presidency of the United States, then that's what I'll do. <laughs> and um, it's just really a pleasure to be here. And, um, you know, Last thing I'll say is we have, we have a motto of the Marine Corps, Semper Fidelis, always faithful. When I think about that motto, I think about what person embodies that. Governor Perry, you embody that. He's always been faithful. God bless you. And uh, I look forward to calling you the Commander-in-Chief. Thank you. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an example of um, why I get up every day. Why, for the last 11 years, as being the commander in chief of uh, men and women just like Dan Moran. It, um, we were just talking, and, and uh, when he was over at Brooks Army Medical Center, and his wife, Teal, and um, I had the opportunity to go down and see these kids from time to time and just uh, love on them a little bit and tell them how much we appreciate what they have sacrificed and their families have sacrificed and and, um, uh, and, and, and making sure that when, when they get out uh, that we give every opportunity to them. And, and one of my goals is to challenge governors all across the country uh, as the President of the United States to put in place uh, legislation and put into their tax code uh, ways that uh, help these young uh, warriors get back into the into the private sector. You know, and, and, and Texas, we've done that in a number of ways, and and uh, whether it's allowing those experiences and what they've learned while in the military to be transferred over to their college transcripts, uh, those that are disabled uh, get substantial tax uh, credits on their on their home on their homes and I mean just um, and, 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 and getting businesses to really focus on that if you want a, a highly uh, trained uh, hard-working uh, patriotic individual you go look at those veterans that are coming home from uh, from the war